Chad, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good, hey, I'm telling you, I just wanna let you know you're doing some great work and your desire and your willingness to experiment is just so encouraging, so great job. Well, thank you. Chad, to start off, uh, can you tell me what is our challenge? So the challenge is, it would be amazing if by September 30th, we have a standard pattern of work that allows two workers to stack 200 dominoes in 90 seconds or less with a 100% topple rate. Okay. Within that challenge, what is your initial focus process? So we're focused on creating a desired pattern of work for stacking dominoes with standards. Okay. And for right now, what is the target condition? So our target is that we will achieve by the end of two weeks, which will be June 1st, uh, this desired pattern of work. And so we'll have two workers. Worker number one will remove the lid, dump the dominoes, stand the dominoes in sets of three. At the very same time, worker number two will take that lid, use the lid to guard dominoes from falling, and then also stand dominoes in sets of three. And then simultaneously, both workers will finish setting dominoes at the free hand. And so the, the diagram kind of looks like this, where we'll have one worker on each side of the table. They'll um, dump the dominoes and guard them from falling in the floor. So they'll dump them all the way down the table and then work together to stand those dominoes in sets of three. So we think that if we can work this way, we'll achieve these characteristics. So we think we'll achieve dominoes will not fall on the floor. Workers will stand on opposite sides of the table. The dominoes are stacked in sets of three. And we want to have experimented with a way to prevent accidental topple. We also think we'll achieve these metrics, that no dominoes fall on the floor, that 100% of the dominoes are set in stacks of three, no accidental topples, and that it'll take 10 seconds to stack 20 dominoes. So that all of that achieves 200 dominoes stacked, 100 seconds total time, and a 100% topple rate. Okay, great. Wow. Wow. So in your current condition, or maybe a better way of saying it is, in the actual condition now. So in the current condition, what's actually happening at this very moment? Sure. So it looks a little different okay. than what we think we want to accomplish sure. at the end of two weeks. And part of that, I've, I've circled in red so that you can see what's different currently from what we hope to achieve. Okay. So right now what's happening is uh, we have two workers. And you'll see that they're standing on the same side of the table, which is, is different now than what we're hoping mm -hmm. to achieve. Um, and so here's what's happening. Worker number one removes the box lid, dumps the dominoes on the table, and some of those dominoes fall on the floor. Worker number one is stacking dominoes in sets of three. They accidentally topple them over. They restack the toppled dominoes, stand groups of dominoes to connect with worker number two's line, and then stay in remaining dominoes at the end. While that's happening, worker number two is waiting for worker number one to distribute the dominoes down the table. Then worker number two is having to step around the table and pick up the dominoes that fell on the floor. Then they're standing single dominoes in a line toward the center, standing groups of dominoes to connect with worker number two's line, and then standing remaining dominoes at the free end. And so you'll see in the diagram that both workers are standing on the same side of the table and we're having those dominoes fall off on the floor. So currently this pattern of work is leading to these characteristics. There are dominoes falling in the floor, two workers on the same side of the table. There's no standard for stacking dominoes. So one worker is standing single dominoes, the other worker is standing in sets of three. And we have no way to prevent accidental topics. So the last time we ran through the process, we had 10 dominoes fall on the floor. 60% of the dominoes were set in stacks of three. We had one accidental topple, and it took 17 seconds to stack 20 dominoes. So you'll see in my run charts down here, um, this first one is the number of dominoes that fall on the floor. Mm -hmm. So we've kind of been up and down. Uh, the last experiment we ran, we were very successful with no dominoes falling. Um, percentage of dominoes set in stacks of three has kind of been up and down, but overall pretty much remained the same, around the 50 to 60%. Uh, 
Uh, accidental topples has been up and down, but we're having about one accidental topple every time we run the process. Um, and then the number of seconds to stack 20 dominoes also hasn't really changed a whole lot. So the outcome we achieved the last time we ran through was 200 dominoes were stacked. It took 147 seconds total time, and we did achieve a 100% topple rate. And so you'll see those run charts here. Um, we have always stacked all of the dominoes each time. The total time is still much higher than we'd like. Um, and then the topple rate, we've been able to achieve 100% topple every time so far. Wow, wow, you can definitely see the hard work that you're doing. You can see the difference between the reality or what we call the current condition and what you desire in the current condition. Yeah, really it's quite good, different. Really <laughs> good, really good work. Well, let me ask you this. What was the last step or the last experiment sure. that you took? So the last step was that we were addressing the obstacle number one down here to have worker number two use the box lid to shield dominoes from falling in the floor as worker number one dumps them from the box. And this was an exploratory experiment. Huh. And what did you expect to happen as a result of taking that step? So I expected that this method will eliminate dominoes from falling in the floor. I predict that this uh, improvement will save 30 seconds from the total time. And what actually happened? So worker number two used the box lid to shield the dominoes from falling in the floor as worker number one dumped them from the box. This method also kept the dominoes in the center of the table and the total time decreased by 20 seconds. Wow, wow. What did you learn from that? Uh, using the box lid to shield dominoes from falling should be a standard part of the pattern of work because it eliminates waste. I felt like that was really successful. Um, but it did not significantly improve the total time. Okay, okay. So let me ask you this. What obstacles are now separating you from your target condition? You know, really the target pattern of work. What obstacles are separating you? So there's no standard for grouping dominoes, which is leading to variation in practice among the workers. Therefore, there are errors, accidental topples are occurring. Uh, there's increased time and increased unnecessary walking. So I think I can measure this obstacle in four different ways. Uh, number one, that workers are following a standard. Number two is the number of accidental topples. Number three is total time. And number four is steps. And then the next obstacle is workers are stacking dominoes in two separate trains that then have to be joined into one train. This coordination is difficult, which is increasing the amount of total time and the topple risk. So I'm gonna measure that by time and the number of accidental topples. And then finally, dominoes are piled in the same space as workers are setting the train. Therefore, the time is increased because the workers are having to move the pile uh, out of their way. So I'm gonna measure that by the total number of times they have to relocate the pile, and then also the total time. So which one of these three obstacles are you addressing now? So I'm addressing obstacle number two, which is there's no standard for how we group the dominoes. So what's your next step or your next experiment? Yeah, so the next step is to instruct both workers to stack dominoes in sets of three. Uh, and I feel like this is an exploratory experiment. And what do you expect to happen as a result of taking that step? I think that if both workers step, set dominoes in stacks of three, the total time will be decreased to 115 seconds. Really good work, Judge. You can see how this step or this experiment is connected to this obstacle. So one more question. Uh, when can we go and see what we've learned from taking that step? How about today at one? Fantastic. Let's do it. Great right. job. Thanks.